Hey, I'm Jake Steinfeld, the body by Jake. And uh, I gotta tell you, we're here in Marina Del Rey at the Jamba Juice, and we're, we're, we're live. sitting here with the martial art badass. I mean, I'm not kidding around. No, he's actually a great guy. Brett Hobel. What do you say, buddy? Say, nice see you to again. see you, man. Now, I know a lot of people say, wait a second. Hey, that's that's the dude from Biggest Loser. What's that, what's that like when people stop you and, and it's no longer Brett? But it, You know, it's an honor to have been on that show and to contribute to what uh, they're up to. I, I really had an amazing time. And it's nice being recognized for something that I can really be proud of. you got a great story, man. G give, me, give me a little bit of your background. Uh, I grew up in Princeton, New Jersey, um, with a family I was adopted when I was a little kid. Um, amazing, very lucky growing up. My father was a professor at Princeton, mother was a professional musician. And uh, I, I had a tough time in the beginning of college, really cleaned my act up and became a pre-med. And a lot of that, I'm gonna be honest, led me into to the career that I am today because Medicine was great, then I went into finance, and honestly, it wasn't my calling. And right. I remember asking my dad in a very serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation, it's the first time in my life I don't really know the direction I want to go in, and this is a guy that could have been, could have been, he was constantly wooed by big drug companies, right. paying him three times as much, he always said no. I love my students, and I love teaching. And I I'm love like, that, that's passion, man. What are you, you crazy? That? But, that, but that's passion. That's what and he said. And you learned that from your dad. And that's what he says, he said, find it. something you love to do, It'll never feel like work, and the money will come or it won't matter to you. And fitness has always been a part of my life. It's awesome. It really is. A couple of tips. What are your, your, your sort of rock bottom tips I got for you. fitness and nutrition? Quickly. I would say here's the number one tip, and I tell people straight up. It's not a fitness exercise, and it's not a nutrition regimen. It is to walk your talk and believe in yourself because accountability the dumbbell baby and the diet don't get you in shape. Your accountability lifts that dumbbell up. Your passion inside is what keeps you on that nutrition. So Jim, right. at the end of the day, you walk in your talk and be accountable to your word. That is the most important thing. And you thing. got some great program. You got a new program coming. I know it's coming in, in uh, 15, which is called a 20 minute body. That's good. Yeah, that, we, got, we right. got a book, but the uh, online program is coming out in 2014. January, baby. January 20, 20minutebody.com. Yes. And then you have your website now, Brett Hobel, H O E B E L dot com. Yes. And you can go visit there and get some free workout videos, get nutrition tips, all of that. Definitely. Final thoughts. For a lot of people right now, like the most rare commodity out there is happiness. I really do believe that in so many levels. And I will just tell people, look, you can, you can think it's the money, you can think it's the fame, you can think it's the X, Y, and Z. It's inside. That's what's going to do it. And don't lose sight of fitness because fitness, it gives you that accountability. It gives you that inner strength. And to me... You see that power, man. You feel... You, you, it's, it's, it's The passion, power. like you said. That's it. It That's gives it. that to you and that can give you happiness. And I swear, for so many people out there, they'll, oh, what's the nutrition? You talk about the diet, it goes back to them emotionally not being happy. They don't get to the gym. It's something to do with their kids or marriage or something. And I'm like, listen, you stay accountable to yourself. Right. The right. rest will follow. I love it, man. Hey, as I always say, stick to the fight. When your heart is hit, it's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Don't quit on you. This guy is aces, man. See you next time. Thank you for having me. Awesome.